everyone, so I'm going to show you how to make a um, Play-Doh recipe or homemade Play-Doh. Um, this one is going to be like more of a calming lavender Play-Doh um, for sensory play. Um, I've done different variations of Play-Doh recipes. I'll have them linked down below. This one would be fun and a little bit different. I was going to use food coloring this time, but because I couldn't use food coloring or I couldn't find food coloring, I'm going to be using Kool-Aid, um, a Kool-Aid pack packet as um, the coloring for the Play-Doh and I chose, we chose red because red is Dallas's favorite colors. I just have some lavender oil here. Basically all you need is one cup of flour. You can use any flour that you have on hand. One fourth salt and a half a cup of warm water. And then I have the grapeseed oil or really you can use any oil for when you're kneading the Play-Doh. Um, that will keep your hands from getting too sticky or um, too messy. And then I just add a few drops of um, lavender, and then I probably won't even use the whole packet of this um, Kool-Aid, maybe, maybe half because it is concentrated and it will show up pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So you're going to want to start off by putting in the salt first. You're going to want to add maybe not even half of this Kool-Aid packet. Okay, I added in the Kool-Aid packet. Now I'm going to add in the water. Yes. And a few drops of that lavender oil. And then like I said, you're going to want to use um, a little bit of oil. Any oil will do. This is just what I found. Um, make sure you put it some on your hands and then you start kneading until it no longer sticks to the bowl. And I will show you guys the end result. Does it smell good, bud? Mm-hmm. Yeah? <laughs> You're so cute. That's what it should look like when it's all finished. And as you can tell, um, the Kool-Aid packet really did pick up the color. I mean, it's not super bright, but it's good enough. Um, also, I want to mention to you that if you find that your Play-Doh is becoming too sticky, to the point where it's sticking to your hands, you can always add a little bit more flour, which is what we did. And then, it's, now it's ready to play. What do you think? <laughs> you like it?